Hello, Hofstra fans, and welcome to the W. Mason Coach Report with head women's lacrosse coach, Shannon Smith. Welcome, Coach. Thank you for having me. Coach, just one game last week, but it was a pretty big one for your program, a 13-10 win over number 25, High Point. Give us a quick recap of uh, the game uh, and how you were able to be victorious. Yeah, it was a really exciting game. Uh, incredible, incredible experience playing um, at the U.S. Lacrosse team, Tierney Field. Um, and I thought that our team got off to a really fast start. Uh, our offense uh, was really um, shooting the ball well, running our plays correctly against High Point's really tough defense. And um, I thought that our defensive unit really stepped up for us in the second half and made some huge stops, especially man down in like the last seven minutes to secure the win for us. Yeah, you just mentioned the hot start. How important, you've had a few opportunities this year to pick up that, that big win and you finally were able to. How big was that getting off to that hot start to give your team the belief that they could do it this time? It, it was huge. You're, you're right. We were knocking on the door the past couple of games that we played against USC and uh, and Hopkins, and I thought that our offense was really focused, um, ran the plays correctly. Alyssa Prello got off to a really quick start and also shot six for seven for us against High Point, which was huge. thought that we were feeding the ball well. Um, Jenna Budd really had some nice plays for us um, on offense as well, so it was really nice to see a lot of different kids step up and finish, the, finish their opportunities for us. Yeah, we'll get to Alyssa Lisa Perel in a moment, but Jenna Bud's really important key to that win. Uh, what did you see from her that allowed her to really have that breakout game right now in this year? Yeah, she's a lefty, does very well against zone uh, zone defenses because she can really slice the middle, be able to feed the ball. Uh, she had a really key key hustle play for us at the end of the first half, a huge box out, was able to get the ball, feed it to Alyssa for a goal with the last two seconds in the first half, um, and then carry that into the second half with a, a nice little uh, dodge in the middle and be able to finish her shot. So she had some really two back-to-back -back plays to end the first half and to begin the second half to give a lot of momentum for our team. Yeah, you just mentioned what I was going to ask you next that goal with two seconds left in the first half you know you had that big lead early and you, it kind of high point kept battling back every time yeah. you got a big lead how important was that goal with two seconds left oh it was huge it gave us a lot of momentum going into uh the set uh the second half and that goal wouldn't have had Alyssa's goal wouldn't have happened unless uh, Jenna Bud had had that really great box out it was a huge hustle play and um you know all the little small things start ending up in in big games like that now on to Alyssa Perella, six goals, two assists, eight points. Just really uh, offensively put the team on her back in a, in a monumental win for your program this year. Uh, what did you see from her in the game that uh, really allowed you, you felt like you saw this coming? Yeah, Alyssa's putting in a lot of hard work um, off the field. She's out there shooting every day. I think she's working extremely hard. She's playing really at a high level right now of lacrosse um, and, and is shooting the ball well. She's extremely focused, um, and I think she inspires other players on our team um, to be able to pick up their game, put that work, the same work ethic in uh, to play well. So she's doing a really great job keeping her head up, being able to move the ball, but also being able to finish her shots, which is huge for us. And a pair of awards for her this week, CAA Player of the Week, and then National Player of the Week from a U.S. Lacrosse Magazine. Uh, hopefully, uh, the snub from earlier this year, she gets on the watch list for the Twarton coming up very soon. Uh, what, what are your thoughts on the year she's having? Uh, it's obviously just the third in what has been a remarkable career. Yeah, uh, Alyssa is, is a tremendous for us in our program, um, you know, both on and off the field. She's a tremendous person, has great character, uh, just really fun person to be around and on the field. Um, it, she deserves to be on that tour and watch list. Um, she's a phenomenal player, uh, leads our conference in all the statistical categories, um, is top five in the country with goals, um, and, and she deserves to be on that. She's one of the top players in the country, and, and hopefully she gets the, the go-ahead with the new um, with the additions to the list. Um, but you know, um, either way, I know Alyssa's just gonna keep continue to work hard and, and stay focused um, with the remaining games we have in the rest of March here in our non-conference before we get into conference play. So your team's now five and three, three losses all to highly ranked teams. Uh, you're coming off the big win over High Point. How do you as a program take the next step where now you're, you're turning the page this year? How do you take the next step and really become the elite program that you want to be? 
Yeah, uh, we got to continue to win. Um, we have a huge game against Sacred Heart on Saturday, um, followed up with Dartmouth and Columbia. I think we got three games in seven days, so um, we got to go day by day, continue to get better, um, but you know, finish out the month of March really strong, um, and then get into our conference play and um, you know, uh, and get really ready for that because our conference is a really tough conference. We have a lot of competitive teams in there. It's the second part of everyone's season, so um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, to continue to be an elite. Program, you got to continue to win. And your next two games, we won't talk to you till after your Dartmouth game. Keys to victory against Sacred Heart and Dartmouth. One key is going to be the draws. I think Darcy Smith's been doing a really great job. I, she gave us a lot of possessions in the first half uh, for um, our game against High Point that really allowed us to score goals. So our draw controls are going to have to continue to be a focus. Um, Jessica Aaron in the cage is going to have to continue to continue to stay hot. She's doing a really great job of being a freshman in there. Um, defensively, um, we just have to clean up some of the mental errors that we're making on the defensive side of the field. And then offensively, we got to continue to shoot the ball very well. Well, Coach, we wish you good luck in the next few games. We'll talk to you next week. Sounds great. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on the W. Mason Coach Report with head women's lacrosse coach, Shannon Smith.